Hey guys, welcome to Kojo Films. Um, this is just a random video that I've made, but I feel like it's important for people who live in Beijing. For me, living in Beijing as well, it's important that I send this information out right now for people who live in Beijing and people who are planning to come to Beijing. At least there are some things you need to know about the lockdown that Beijing is about to embark on. As you know, the COVID-19 pandemic has never left us, it's still with us. And then all of a sudden, is back in Beijing. We are going to have a massive lockdown. But then, what are the things we know so far? One thing we know, or one thing we trust, is that the government will do everything possible to make sure that they control or they put this COVID-19 under control. Because we know China's strength and China's uh, position when it comes to taking care of this COVID-19, they've done extremely well over the past. And I know that I know what they are capable of doing. Now, this happened in Shanghai a few months ago. Shanghai has been on massive lockdown. There were a lot of issues about food shortage, food shortages. People were running to the supermarket to get food. People were locked down in their homes for a very long time. Today, I'm going to give you five things we know so far about the COVID-19 situation in Beijing. So to begin with, first we know that it was just on Tuesday that the government announced that new cases have been detected in Beijing. And these are cases that have to do with students. So in some schools, some students, I think that from the beginning there were three students who had a virus and it kept spreading and spreading. Now the government took an immediate action to make sure that over 22 million people who are living in Beijing get tested. So first, uh, most people in Beijing are going through tests now. Now, it takes three phases. You must have the first test, the second test, and the third test. Now, what comes with it is that you see a lot of people waiting in queue to get tested. And when you go, you need to wait for at least for some time. Maybe you can imagine the size of Beijing. So what the, the government is doing now is to test almost the 22 million people who live in Beijing now to make sure that they don't have the same case that happened in Shanghai repeating itself. So... One thing we know is that there is massive test, COVID-19 test, that is going on in Beijing. And every single person is being advised to have three phases of the test. The second point is that uh, the test is going to be for everyone. The only people that are not required to do the test are people who are living in rural areas. As you know, in Beijing, the rural areas are quite smaller and they are relatively very low population over there. So only people living in rural areas are not allowed to take the test. But for other people who are living in the city, you must take the test. And so for anyone who lives in the city, we are using five days to do the test. Within the five days, that is from Tuesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and the coming Sunday, Every resident in Beijing must make sure that you, within these five days, you know your status in terms of the COVID-19 situation. Number three, Beijing officials have been made aware that they need to work remotely. So most people are going to work from home this time around. So most of the busy areas like Chaoyang, like Heidi, and where we have lots of companies and we have a lot of people who go to the offices to work over there are going to work remotely. And I think I was in Sha I was in. Chaoyang district a few days ago and the place was very very quiet you can see the streets are empty there are not so many people who are there also there is a ban on public gathering so for parties for cultural performances for outdoor activities they have totally banned those things for now so you cannot have any cultural activity you cannot have any party you cannot have any get together or any social or public uh, activity at the moment until giving the green light. Number four is because of what happened in Shanghai, so a lot of people are running to buy food. A lot of people are running to buy food. There are reported cases of shortages of food in supermarkets, which I've heard several times. I read some on my phone. I've seen some on videos, but it's true. I was in the supermarket myself and I ordered egg, it was cancelled. I ordered online because there was shortage. I ordered potatoes, it was the order was cancelled because there was shortage. So people are really scared of what happened in Shanghai and we don't want the same thing to happen here. We don't want food shortages. So a lot of the supermarkets are running out of food. But the government has assured that they have reinstalled a lot of supermarkets. They said most of the uh, re uh, the retailers or the suppliers of food, meat, vegetables, fruit. They make sure that they have a lot of food available for people to buy because the government do not want any panic. They don't want people to struggle. They want to make sure there's enough, uh, there's enough food for everyone at the moment. The number five and final one is that just today, Friday the 28th of April, schools have been asked to close down. 
So for me, I was at work when I had the information, I got the information, I put the information on the screen that the government has given the order that schools must be closed down, students must go home. Now the problem with this is that for high schools, most kids who come from other cities are now having a kind of a dilemma because if they go back home, then they cannot come again. So we don't know if like teaching is going to be online or if after the midday, we'll go back to class and continue. So the holiday is supposed to come to start from Saturday, but the government has asked that the kids or all students go home earlier before the midday holiday. So guys, this is what I have so far. As time goes on, I'll continue to give you the updates on what is happening in Beijing. But my, the question is, if you want to come to Beijing right now, should you come to Beijing? No, don't come to Beijing at the moment because you might be locked down. And if you are locked down, that would be a lot of uh, stress for you, a lot of frustration because we, nobody knew the time, nobody knows the time that this COVID situation will go down and that people will be free to move around or walk around. So, see you guys. Continue to watch my channel, subscribe, like, comment, watch Espan Live, watch the talk with Kojo. I'll see you another time. Stay blessed and protect yourself. Bye.